Let me just start off by saying this is not some content creator crap. These are actual pro settings that I'm going through. These are not my own settings and I'm not a content creator in any way. These are pro settings from the pro settings spreadsheet. These are actually what pro players in Crunker are using as their settings. Uh, this spreadsheet is linked in the description below if you want to have a look at it and I strongly recommend you do. Uh, the first thing I would recommend you do if you were trying to get good pro settings is to just copy one of the settings from this spreadsheet. Um, even if you were going to change it, it's a really good baseline to start off with and it nails some of the key settings so you don't have to bother with them. It's definitely better than the default settings of the pro preset. Now there are some certain settings which every pro player can basically agree are putting you at a disadvantage. And if you were starting with the default settings, you need to turn these off. And even if you have copied someone else's settings, it's still worth checking these settings to make sure they are off. There are some cases where players will put these on, but the general consensus is, the general consensus is sorry, that these settings are putting you at a disadvantage. Uh, to change these settings, go into the settings menu and turn on advanced settings and then we are going to use the search bar to search for these settings. First thing we're going to search for are particles. Make sure they are off. Shadows. Make sure they are off. Ambient shading. Make sure that is off. Your trails. Make sure that is off. Muzzle flash. Make sure that is off. Scope borders. Make sure that is off and make sure hide weapon on ADS is on. You do not want to be seeing your weapon while you are aiming down sights. Yeah, like I said before, some players have some of these settings on. However, it's generally agreed that these settings, if you have them on, uh, will put you at a disadvantage. If you're looking for the maximum advantage as well, you should definitely turn your primary weapon off. However, some people do like the look of their weapon and they will keep it on, but you should just be aware that you will be at a disadvantage if you are keeping the primary weapon on. In terms of crosshairs, most people are pretty sane, and as long as you aren't using the default crosshair, you are probably fine. Um, if you need a crosshair suggestion, like I said, on the spreadsheet, there are many crosshairs linked. Uh, generally, the blue cross is the most popular, and the mech crosshair will be linked in the description as well. Um, despite what you may have heard, sensitivity is not entirely personal preference and there are definitely some people watching this video who are at a massive disadvantage due to their sensitivity. Sensitivity in Crunker is affected by a lot of things like mouse DPI, your windows pointer speed and your windows resolution scale. Because of this, I will not be talking about the actual in-game values, but I will instead be talking about centimeters per 360. Please, before we go any further, make sure you have turned off Enhance Point Precision and have your mouse pointer speed at the middle mark. That changes how you do that depending on what version of Windows you have. So look it up, but make sure you have Enhance Point Precision off and your mouse pointer speed should be on the little middle mark. Now when I say centimeters are 360, what I mean is how much movement of your mouse in the real world does it take for you to th do a 360 degree spin in game now i know half you guys watching this video are in high school or have just come out of high school you have a ruler laying around the easiest way to measure roughly your centimeters per 360 is to grab your ruler put it by your mouse do a 360 degree spin in game and see how far your mouse moved that is the easiest way to roughly calculate your centimeters per 360. There are also many calculators online that can calculate your sensitivity more accurately. However, I'm not going to go into detail here on how to do that. However, I am going to provide a table here so you can quickly just reference this if you don't want to calculate your centimeters at 360. Generally speaking, any hip fire sensitivity around the 30 centimeters per 360 mark is good. You are definitely at a disadvantage if you are playing below 15 centimeters a 360 or above 50 centimeters a 360. That's five zero centimeters a 360. And from now on, I'm not going to refer to it as centimeters a 360. I'm just going to call it like centimeters because centimeters a 360 is a mouthful. Classes like AK sniper and SMG are generally around the 25 centimeter range while classes like the Famous and Semi are more around the sort of 35 centimeter range. However, anything in the 20 to 40 centimeter range should work pretty well for a Krunker hipfire sensitivity. 
For your aim down sight sensitivity, also known as your ADS sensitivity, the values are of course different. Generally speaking, when you aim down sights, you want to be at around a 40 centimeter 360 and avoid being anything below 20 centimeters. For classes like semi and sniper, because they are generally a bit more long range and low field of view focused, they are generally a bit slower in compared to sensitivities from other classes. Anywhere between 40 centimeter to 80 centimeter aim down sight sensitivities for semi and sniper are pretty regular and around the 50 centimeter mark is pretty normal for those classes. For the other classes, uh, the 30 centimeter to 45 centimeter is the same range. Uh, with classes like AK, SMG, and LMG on the sort of faster end of that range, while classes like Rev and Famous are on the slower end of that range. Slower as in like closer to 45 centimeter, faster as in closer to 30 centimeter. Field of view is another very important setting. Anything around the 80 to 100 field of view mark is pretty standard. However, it's not uncommon for some people to go much higher. LMG is a class that moves very quickly and is more about movement than it is about pure killing. You should be killing as an LMG, but you should definitely have really good movement. And because of that, some LMG players like to go for a very high field of view, up to 120. There are definitely some LMG players that do like to play at a more sane level at around the 80 to 100 degree field of view. However, it's, you know, there are some players that go up to 120. Sniper players are another exception to the 80 to 100 degree rule. Um, that is because, of course, when they're hip firing, it's very different to when they're scoped in. Um, so hip firing, they may go up to 120 field of view, uh, but when they scope in, they will uh, really put down that uh, field of view just so they can get a really precise shot going. For DPI, people are pretty sane with their choices. Uh, 400, 800, or 1600 DPI are pretty normal for pros, and that's what most players already use. Um, I wouldn't go any higher than 1600 because it makes changing your sensitivity really uh, finicky and difficult, and it doesn't actually give you any advantage, despite what Reddit may say about pixel skipping. As for clients, you really should be playing on official. If you are looking to take your Crunker game to the top level, you will be required to play on the official client because that is the only one that works with anti-cheat. If you are playing tournaments or you get reported enough in Faceit, you will have to play with the anti-cheat and you will have to play on the official client. Sure, some other clients may give slight advantages and nice features, however it's worth getting used to official now in case you have to play on it in the future. As for CSS, uh, there are many options and you can get away with using no CSS. Plenty of uh, pro players don't use any CSS. Um, but there are definitely, I would say there definitely is an advantage to using some CSSs. It's just that pro players just can't be bothered at the end of the day. It's not going to make you a great player if you have a good CSS. Um, the best collection of decent CSS files I've found is on Vizsla's Discord. I have linked that in the description below. He has a channel there for CSS files and basically any of those are usable. Um, many pro players will use any number of random CSS files. Uh, there's no sort of set consensus on which CSS file is the best. Uh, at this sort of stage, you can get away with any sort of decent pro CSS, of which there are a lot, and they are linked in Vizsla's server. As for mods, it's a very similar story, but with even more options. Uh, again, many players get fine with absolutely no mods at all. They don't touch mods. And the vast majority of players that do use mods are using mods that like very so slightly alter the game. Like maybe they change weapon sounds or they simplify textures a bit. There are definitely some players who use really extreme mods that like drastically change the game. You know, make it all black, all white, pure red, all yellow, things like that. But again, there are players that, you know, get away with really simple mods or no mods at all. And mods are changed quite frequently uh, compared to a lot of other settings by pro players. So finding a perfect mod isn't really a thing. It's more about finding a mod that is good enough and maybe changing it every now and then if, you know, you're getting a bit bored and want to spice up how your game looks. A whole list of mods that pro players use can be found on the spreadsheet, which again is linked in the description. The most commonly seen mod by far is jcstani.exe, which just simplifies game textures, and if you haven't used mods before, I definitely give that one a look. 
There are some other settings that certain pro players will do and they claim it has an advantage. Um, some people will make the kill feed text area really tall so they can read more of it. Uh, but others do like to keep it small so it doesn't take up too much screen space. Uh, some players like to play on a stretch resolution, but again, it's not all plays, it's just a select few. And low spec is another setting that uh, some pro players, or I, I would say all pro players have definitely tried or used low spec at some point, but only some have sort of stuck with it or are continuing to use it now. And that is really it in terms of actually important settings in Krunker used by pro players. Uh, yeah. Hey guys, cheating. Oh, that would have been sick. 